Welcome to another product spotlight. We've been hard at work at Vertech, and the latest release of Iris is here, and it's a big one. With this release, we're focusing on features that'll help simplify the setup and configuration of your Vertech projection systems, helping you adapt to your ever-changing production needs on the fly. We at Vertech are all about keeping your projection systems flexible and maximizing the equipment uptime and usage. We recognize that plans can change every day. We want to make it easier for you to adapt to those changes whenever they happen. So let's dive into the key features and look at what's on the way. Is your work order list getting too long and difficult to navigate? Find the work order you want much quicker using the new work order sorting and filtering feature. Simply type in the name of the work order you want to open and Iris will filter the list down to those that match what you're typing. This will help you get up and going much quicker while reducing the chances of opening up the wrong job. Need to use your projectors somewhere else? You can now give your projectors familiar names that make them easier to identify. If a projector needs to be replaced in your system, Iris can automatically migrate settings such as your work cell assignments, target configurations, and projected menu locations just by reassigning the name to another projector, helping to reduce downtime between setups. Allow your projection systems become more flexible using the new work cell feature. We've made it easier to define pre-configured projector combinations, which can be loaded for use with your work orders. Now your operators can easily produce parts wherever you have equipment availability, and only use the projectors required for the task. Combining that with VPS1 and Flash Align, get up and going faster and be able to accommodate for your production planning needs. Oftentimes you may find yourself working with tools with more complex geometries. In those cases, you may find that the automatic projector assignments for your projection zones may not be sufficient, as may be the case for areas of the tool which are occluded or are inaccessible by certain projector positions. With the latest IRIS release, the manual clipping feature will allow you to easily specify planes to divide your tools into work zones that ensure your projections appear where you would expect and maintain the accuracy of your assembly process. Extend the life of your projectors using the pause and resume feature. Whenever the laser is not required, click to pause your work order to turn off the laser projection. Click resume and your work orders will automatically realign and return to their previous state. In this release, we've added many enhancements to managing targets in your work orders. Easily skip over targets that are not accessible to the projector, while also specifying which critical targets are required for your alignment, and ensure that your operators are producing accurate parts. Want to modify the properties of several targets at a time? You can also now select multiple targets from the list and apply bulk changes quickly, saving you time in the configuration of your work orders. Alignment issues can happen for many reasons, such as when targets are damaged or positioned improperly on your tool. It's important in these cases to be able to diagnose these problems quickly so your production can move ahead. Click on the target scans to see the scan details more clearly and find targets which may need to be replaced. Then rescan those specific targets without having to redo the entire alignment and save time when errors occur. Make it easier for your operators to see which target they're aligning to with the new large target display. Now the target name can be clearly displayed on your screen and viewable no matter where your operator may be. Thank you for watching this video. For more information and content, please check us out on our website or connect through our various social media channels.